In this Flash tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple ActionScript 3.0 next and previous gallery. First, import some images into your Flash library. Go up to File, down to Import, and then Import to Library. Select the files you wish to import and click Open. After that, we need to make a total of four layers. Click the Create New Layer icon until you have four. Then name the first one AS for ActionScript. Name the second one Buttons. The third one Images and the last one border. Now we are ready to start adding in our images. Click on the first frame of your images layer and drag out your first image from your library onto the stage. Next open up your align panel. Click on the align to stage checkbox and then align the images vertical center and horizontal center with the stage. After that right click on the next frame of your images layer and select insert blank keyframe. Then drag out your second image and align it just as you did the first. Keep following this process until you have each of your images on stage and aligned. By using the align panel or the coordinates you can ensure that all of your images will be in the same place as you flip through your gallery. You will also want to make sure that all of your images are a similar size to keep consistency. Once you have all of the images on stage and aligned you should be able to scrub through and see one image per frame. Next click on the first frame of the border layer. This step is optional but it does improve the appearance of the gallery. Drag out a rectangle to the same size as your images. To be precise, type in the exact values. My images are 360 pixels by 240 pixels. Then align the rectangle to the center of the stage in the same way that you did with the images. Next go over and grab the free transform tool and hold alt and shift while dragging a corner point. This will allow you to scale the rectangle from the center and give your gallery a slight border. Now drag frame one of the border layer to frame four and release. Then drag frame 4 back to frame 1. This will create a copy of the border across all of your frames. After that, click on the first frame of your buttons layer. To create triangular buttons, we will be using text, but you can also make them using a shape tool or by importing a graphic. Go over and grab the text tool and then set your font to webdings. Then set the size to something larger. I am using 175 point. After that, click and then type a 3 to get the previous button. Then align this vertically to the stage with your align panel and position it horizontally by hand. After that, type out a 4 which will act as the next button of our gallery. Align this vertically to the stage with the align panel as well as move it horizontally so that it matches up with the previous button. Lastly, we need to convert these buttons so that we can target them with our action script. Click on the next arrow and press F8. Then give this a name of BTN1, select a type of button, and click OK. After that, give an instance name of BTN1 to this button. Then do the same for the previous button. Select it and press F8. Give it a name of BTN2. Select a type of button. And then give it an instance name of BTN2. Now drag frame 1 of the buttons layer to frame 4 and release. Then drag frame 4 back to frame 1. This will create a copy of the buttons across all of your frames. Now we are finally ready to write the action script to make our image gallery work. Click on the first frame of the action script layer and open up the actions window. First start by typing stop open close parenthesis semicolon. This will stop the gallery from speeding through all of your images. Then on another line type out btn one dot add event listener open close parenthesis semicolon. Then inside of the parentheses type mouse event dot click in all caps comma, and then a function name. I will be calling my function forward. This line of code listens for btn1, which is our next button, to be clicked. When it is, it will run the function forward, which we will create in a minute. Next, make a copy of that line and paste it on a line below. Now change btn1 to btn2 and change forward to backwards. After that, hit enter a few times and type function forward open close parentheses open curly bracket then hit enter a few times and put a closing curly bracket. Inside of the parentheses put event colon mouse event. Now inside of this function we need to figure out where the gallery currently is so we will make a conditional if else statement. Type if open close parentheses open curly bracket hit enter and put a closing curly bracket. Now inside of the parentheses type this dot current frame space equals equals space this dot total frames. Then inside of the if type go to and stop 
open parenthesis one, close parenthesis semicolon. This is saying if the current frame of the gallery is on the last frame, then we need to go back and stop at the beginning of the gallery. Now after the closing curly bracket for the if statement, type else, open curly bracket, hit enter, and put a closing curly bracket. Now inside of the else statement, type next frame, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, semicolon. So if the gallery is not on the last frame, then this will have the next button take us to the next frame as usual. After that, we need to copy the entire forward function and paste a copy a few lines below. Now change the word forward to backwards, then cut the words this.totalFrames and replace it with a 1. Then replace the 1 from your go to and stop with this.totalFrames. This is saying that for the previous button, if the gallery is on the first frame and the button is clicked, then go to the last frame. Next change next frame to preview frame so that the previous button will by default take you to the previous frame. So now our gallery should be working. Test it by going to Control, Test Movie, Test. So now you can see that you can click through the gallery with both buttons and it is looping properly. So there we have it. Now you have a simple next and previous gallery made in Flash. So as always, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.